Hi, my name is Billy Bob Thornton McChicken Shit, and I'm here to take your cows out and then take them for a run and then grab your pigs and slop off the shit with my shoes, and I'm just here to live my best life, and while I'm at it, why don't I just pluck a feather out of your chicken? Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a little purchaser pass where if you are not familiar with these videos, this is where I like to go through and I talk about new releases over on Trend Moods page over on Instagram. And we kind of just go through, you know, what I think. Is it something I want to pick up? I'm interested in. Or if, you know, quite frankly, if I think it's absolutely stupid, abominable, or for some other reason, don't plan on picking it up. So if that sounds like something that you're into, you know, look at me. I'm just like already getting the head bobs. I'm getting the hands going, guys. I'm just warming up, okay? I am just getting ready <laughs> because when I do these videos it's a whole situation like I have opinions and feelings that must be felt um, by both of us evidently and I just really like to convey them with passion so if this sounds like something that you're into we're gonna be getting into that in just a second but of course you guys know time for a little self promo with Paige that's me um, which hello if you're new here my name is Paige this is Seeking Alexandria and I do put up three new videos a week so if you haven't done so yet please subscribe before you leave typically my videos go up around 7 7 30 a.m. my time here in good old North Northern Michigan. So if you really like those nice early morning uploads, this could be the channel for you. Definitely stick around, see if you like the vibe. And then for anyone that's newer here, you might not know this, but I am trying my absolute damnedest, okay, to get to 10,000 followers over on Instagram. So if you haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate it. If you would take a second and go follow me, everything will be linked down below for Instagram and Twitter, but I am way more active over on Instagram. It's where I post all of my content. I love doing makeup looks, makeup IGTV videos, plus size fashion, random, like just the random everything truly I just I upload some weird photos some fun photos some really like artsy artistic photos um, I, I just really like to kind of feel all sides of it you know for me it's not just about makeup it's about life and just kind of showing you guys the other side of me and you know just being outside of of the beauty lights and outside of this but anyways with all of that said done and out of the way let's go ahead and start off on trend mood with something that has already launched you know just to kind of get us all warmed up feeling good feeling funky feeling fresh and I'm gonna give you some thoughts now this is on a product that has already launched I don't know if I said that or not but this is from ColourPop and this is their new fresh and freckled freckle pen and it says that there are two shades they retail for eight dollars each and here's what I want to know okay Th this isn't something <laughs> spoiler alert okay this isn't something that I would pick up it's not my style this isn't something I do which I, I just have a question okay <laughs> this first one is just more so like a uh, that I don't understand but how do people do this and look good like how do people just take this little pen and they just go like boop 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 they morse code all over their face they look so damn cute they look fresh they look like Oh, so effortless, so cute, so trendy. I do it and I look like a damn trash panda. <laughs> like, how, how is this possible, you guys? I do not understand. I just wanted to ask, like, kind of, you know, like, interject some thoughtful conversation. If you guys would like to discuss with me down in the comments, that would be great. Because truly, I look so dumb <laughs> whenever I do it. And I don't know if this is a good pen or not. I won't try it because, again, <laughs> trash panda, not my thing. Um, but if you would like to, leave me down in the comments. If you are someone that can pull this off, if you are like me and you don't understand, whatever the case may be, please leave it down in the comments. Because I would just love to know whether I'm alone or not on this because I legit, <laughs> I legit look so stupid. I just, oh, I'm just, I want to know if I'm, if I'm alone because truly it, it, it breaks my heart. Like, who are we kidding? I would love to look youthful and cute with freckles and look like I've been in the sun. Okay. I would really love the whole motif, but in the end, I just can't because I don't. And I just, I don't know why. <laughs> so leave me your thoughts. All right. So I scooched myself in just a little bit. Fun facts, because I looked in the monitor and I don't know if it looked like it to you guys, but I legit felt like I was sitting <laughs> back with the hay bales in the fields, like way back there. And I would just really like it if I was, you know, somewhat close to you guys. So number one, move myself in. And thing number two, I always get questions whenever I wear this, but this is my garbage t-shirt from Little Miss Teresa over at Teresa is Dead. She's a really good friend here on YouTube. She has a great channel. You should definitely check her out. I'll leave her link down below. Whether you know her on or off the internet, she's absolutely amazing. I have the privilege of knowing her both and I just, I can't speak highly enough of her. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know this is her merch. You should definitely check it out. Go check out her channel if you haven't. Thing number three that I have to mention super quickly and I try not to do this because I know it drives everybody crazy, myself included, when YouTubers are like, oh, if the lighting is weird, like <laughs> half of you don't care anyways, and I get that. But for anybody that might be wondering, I am filming this video way, way late. And so if you happen to see, <laughs> like, I don't know, the sun is setting, it gets darker in here, the shadows change, coloring changes, anything like that, um, I apologize. But like I said, I'm filming it later than usual. I'm just trying to get my shit done. And it happens to be later when I'm doing that. So, you know, just FYI, me to you, if things look weird, if I get kind of shadowed and funky looking, it is what it is, okay? My words are still here 
here, bitch. My voice is still ringing true out into the world, and let's go ahead and get back into the video. This is actually from Fenty. This is their new Fenty skincare line, and they released a cleanser, a fat water toner, <laughs> which I just love, and a day cream that has SPF in it. And I did pick up one item out of this collection. I picked up, <laughs> I picked up the fat water toner, which of course I'm over here just like, yes, bitch. Mm, I picked up that fat water toner. You know it, okay? I needed it. My fluffy ass needed that fat water toner. But I actually picked up this toner because I read that it was good. I don't know if it was on their website or their Instagram, but somewhere I was reading that it was supposed to help you with your pores, like making them look a little less visible, more refined. That's something I have been working on lately and I've been doing, you know, a pretty good job with it. I definitely think I've seen some results, but if I could have, you know, a toner or something like that, that will also go in and help, I'm all about it. You know, the more the merrier type situation. So yeah, I did pick that up, but I didn't pick up the cleanser or the day cream, mainly because I already have both of those and I know what I like, I know what I'm going for. And with my skin type, I have to have something that's more acne driven that'll help fight it. And this is just more, in my opinion, of like a generic cleanser and a generic day cream. So to me, those weren't like specific enough, but I thought, bitch, yes. Okay, we will get that toner and we will check it out. So uh, I'll let you guys know, you know, as soon as I get going with it, after I've used it for a while, if it's any good. All right, so here is one that is currently in route to me. So I did pick it up, but I have not yet tested it. And this is from Urban Decay. This is their Extra Glow Long Lasting Setting Spray. So just like their All Nighter, which is more of a matte setting spray, they decided to come out with one that is extra glowy. And I really wanted to check this out because according to the post right here, it said that this is infused with hyaluronic acid and agave extract for hydrating ultra glowy finish that still locks your makeup in all day. Really the reason I picked this up was because of that description. Like how are you going to infuse like this whole thing right here with the, the all nighter and that, ooh, that robust, yeah, bitch, we're gonna lock your shit in. It's gonna stay there forever. But you're also gonna put that in there with like, oh, I like it dewy, soft, yummy, mm, juicy on the skin. Oh, yes. Like, how the hell are you gonna get those two worlds to come together? And I, like, truthfully, the more I thought about it, the more I was just like, mm hmm, I have to know. I have to test it out. And uh, so, to answer the question, you know, the age old purchaser pass, bitch, I purchased it and we're gonna see if I pass or not <laughs> because I haven't tried it, but I will let you guys know. Okay, so I have a question and I'm really hoping you guys might know more about this than me because I clearly know nothing. But Deck of Scarlet came out with these Mistake, like Mist Ache Proof Blush and Bronzer. And evidently, they are like a spray formula for blush and bronzer. And my question is twofold. Number one, has anybody seen these in action? Do you know what they do? Like, is this something that I should care about or not? Because, like, personally, I'm very intrigued. And then thing number two, and probably the most important, Deck of Scarlet. Like, is this one of those companies where it's like a subscription service type situation? Or, like, am I way off? Are they like an MLM? Like, what is Deck? of Scarlet because I've seen them around and I want to say they're more of just like a subscription-y type thing, but I'm honestly not sure. And up until this point, like if I'm being truthful, okay, if I'm being honest, I've never actually cared <laughs> because Deck of Scarlet was just always one of those things where I was like, eh, whatever, like it's just cheap makeup. Like I just, I don't know, I never gave it much thought. It seemed like very, ugh, to me. It just, I don't know, it wasn't thoughtful enough for me to care. And this actually looks really cool. It looks kind of innovative. Don't get me wrong, part of me worries about like the consistency of the actual like blush itself. Like if you, if it's that thin that it can spray, I feel like it would just like settle into your skin and it would like do the exact opposite. I love that I'm sitting here talking myself out of the very item that I was so curious about. Uh, but yeah, now that I think about it, if it has like a spray texture, Ooh, you know what? Let me compete. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd like, you know what? Yeah, no, I pass. I pass. Never mind. Because now that I think about it, I feel like that spray, even though it says to like spray it on a sponge and then press it in, but that like, it's going to be so thin that I just feel like it would penetrate my foundation and it wouldn't really like settle on my skin. I feel like it would just soak in and look kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think, mm -mm, no, especially with my bronzer. Yeah, no, I like, mm -mm, sorry. No, pa <laughs> pass. I lied. I lied. That one's a pass. I don't, uh, I don't need to care. <laughs> Bitch, I don't need to care. Okay, move on. Okay, so now we can go ahead and talk about something that this, <laughs> you guys, it almost got me, and bitch, it almost got me good. It almost got me just slathered all up in it because the packaging is gorgeous, and that is from none other than Lomas Huda Beauty, and it was her new all-over nymph highlighter, and you guys, first of all, the pan on this, I saw it in somebody's video. Maybe it was Manny's video. That highlighter is, like, this big, okay? So I was just like, eh. like, yes, please. Like, I, I need all the gigantic highlighters, obviously, even though I have 72,000 
thousand of them, okay? I still, I still obviously need one more, obviously. I literally went as far as to have this in my cart, and then I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, bitch, you don't need it. A, it's $55, okay? $55, you do not need it, even though, yes, it is this big. I love that it keeps growing every time I talk about it. Big, big, big. Now it's the size of a large pizza, but that's fine because I love pizza. But anyways, I went to go get it in my cart, and like, I was thinking about checking out, and then it occurred to me, Paige, you are always pissed off whenever you purchase one of these because it's never good for your skin tone. Like, it's always just like a skosh too dark. Lo and behold, I believe it was Manny, now that I think about it, that did use it, and he said also that it was too dark on his skin tone, just a little bit, and bitch, we know, okay, if it's too dark on Manny, it's definitely gonna be too dark on my pale ass. So obviously, I'm glad I didn't pick it up because the tone would not have been right for me, but like, also at the same time, I just look at it and I'm just like, huh, <laughs> like, it's so beautiful. She 100% did that. Packaging, 10 out of 10, mwah, gorgeous, bitch, it is gorgeous. Okay, so here's another one that I have been asked a fair amount about, and that would be the new One Size Makeup Collection that obviously Patrick Starr put out, for those of you that don't know. And he came out with two different liners, eye poppers, which are like nice little glittery moments, and then an eyeshadow palette. And this was actually a collection that I almost did pick up, like right when it launched, because I know the formula is gonna be good. I just, I, oh God, like I can feel the creaminess, just like, <laughs> that's me dipping my finger in the pan, okay? Can't you tell? Just like, <laughs> getting a good little swatch in. And I just, I know, like I can feel that it's gonna be good quality, and I don't doubt that for a second. But for me, I have to kind of wage, you know, is it practical? Is it something I need? Is it something I'll use? And because I've just been trying to be a lot more conscious of that. And in the end, I just, I didn't feel any of this collection really pulling towards me. But if I was going to pick it up, which again, I might in the future, I would be very interested in a couple of the glitter toppers. I think they're gorgeous. Like the shades of them are really pretty. And I love stuff like that for little finite details. They're super fun. Um, so I might pick up those. And then I would be interested as well in the gel liner, just to see if it's something that I could actually get to adhere to my little bitch ass waterline. Okay. Because my waterline is literal hot fire shit trash garbage and I just I desperately <laughs> I desperately would love it if I could actually get my liners to cling to it and so yeah I would I would check it out for both of those things but uh, you know in the end just the whole collection wasn't really something I needed right now all right so this next one like I'm not trying to be shady okay like I'm not I'm not trying to be shady but like I have an opinion all right so Kylie Cosmetics came out with the clarifying collection and the <laughs> I have, did I mention I have some opinions? Um, this is a collection, okay, and it says on the website or on the trend mood page here that these products are here to help with skin congestion and overall stressed skin. Detox face mask, clear complexion correction stick, and clarifying facial oil are an amazing trio for a more balanced and renewed complexion. And, you know, it goes through and it gives the prices and all of that. And my issue with this, I guess, is simple. I want to know who made this collection and did you even consult people that have like real acne. Like we're talking real fucking acne problems. I'm not talking like, oh, like, oh, it's that time of the month and I got like, bagook, like one cute little fella on the side of my face. No, I want to know if you consulted people that have cystic or real hormonal acne that have actual breakouts, like that really need their skin clarified. Did you consult them? Did you actually let them design it? Or is this just some little generic little clarifying thing with generic clarifying ingredients that work for some people, that work for this, that work for basic blemishes? Like what exactly are you targeting here? Because as someone who has personally struggled with, again, severe acne, cystic acne, hormonal acne, oh bitch, all the acnes, okay, I was all up in that family, I'm not just an in-law bitch, I am the mother, okay, I know what is going on in there, and as someone who is a part of that family, it's, I, I feel like acne and like dealing with breakouts is almost becoming like a weird trend in the skincare realm, and I, I don't know, it's not that it's bad necessarily, because I think the more options the better on one aspect, but on the other hand, I'm kind of like, ugh, like, I, I, I think that maybe Maybe we should leave, and this is just, again, my opinion, but part of me feels like maybe we should leave designing products for people that have bad acne or, you know, struggle with blemishes, that sort of thing. Maybe we should leave the development of said products to those people. Now, again, I'm not saying she didn't. Um, all I'm saying is that I would be curious to know who did develop this. Was it, again, was it like a generic formula that you just like plucked off a shelf? I don't know, like maybe ColourPop shelf. I'm just saying. Um, I don't know if ColourPop has this or not. Like I haven't checked. I'm not up on what they're offering on their, on their skincare side. But like, is this just a generic thing that you're putting your name on? Or is it something that was really developed and curated by people that know about it? Because as, again, as somebody that's dealt with it, like this is a serious thing and it needs to be dealt with with more reverence and it needs to be cared about more. And these are real people with real feelings. And when they buy products, as somebody that has done this, like I can't tell you the amount of times that I have went and like purchased something and like prayed, like, oh my God, like, please let this help me. Please let this be the answer to even a little bit of, you know, correcting of the inflammation, like 
the pain. Like, there are so many aspects of this. Acne can literally rule your life and, and be something that is such a painful detriment. And I'm not trying to get, like, all serious and weird right now, but I just really feel like it's a conversation that needs to happen. And I don't know. I, I just don't feel like acne and, and blemishing and, like, that sort of thing. I don't think it's something that should be taken so lightly because for so many people, it, it's really difficult and it's a source of a lot of pain and, and they get made fun of and it just, it, it fucking, it sucks, okay? Like, I just, I don't know. For me, it, it kind of puts a bad taste. Like, again, I'm not somebody that takes things super, super seriously in that respect, but it, I, there's something about skincare and, like, when you target it for clarifying, like, oh, it's the clarifying collection. Like, I just, I don't know. It almost takes a, like, a really shitty thing and makes it trendy and I just, I, I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me. You guys can let me know down below. I, I could just be, like, way oversensitive about this I, I could, because as somebody that's worked for years to try to find what works for her and I purchased so many of this exact thing and it took me so long to realize like there's a difference between good quality and trendy and trying to learn that difference is heartbreaking it's expensive and it just I don't know it's really it's really deadening inside and I mean maybe that's where my humor comes from I don't know uh but as you can tell I insert humor everywhere to try and I don't know deflect but yeah I just for me this is obviously a no-go um but you know if anybody tried it you like it if you think it's good I would love to hear from you down below I'm open to all you know like sides opinions thoughts whatever you have to say um I'm open to it I'm open to a different perspective but I'm just for me it's, it's kind of it's kind of a no dog all right so on to something that is kind of along those same lines Tatcha released their new rice wash and in the description here it goes on to talk like I'm not going to read you the whole paragraph but it talks about how this does have a pH neutral neutral amino acid base it's a purifying daily cream cleanser it turns it turns into a gentle foam it has um Japanese rice powder to soften and boost the luminosity of your skin then they have Okinawa red algae Japanese brown algae hyaluronic acid Hadassah 3 and they're there to just replenish you know moisturizer and and really cleanse your skin without stripping it of anything and it says that skin is left feeling softer suppler and imparted with long-lasting hydration and here's my thing and, and part of the reason I bring this up like this did catch my eye a hundred percent I'm not gonna lie Tatcha skincare often does because I think that they approach skincare with the exact opposite of what I was just saying about the last one. Um, I feel like Tatcha is one of those brands that it's so thoughtful and so thorough. And I have tried, like I have tried so much stuff from Tatcha, okay? And it's expensive, but I've, I've tried a lot of it. And the truth and like the, the hard, honest truth of it is that they approach skincare from a scientific, like very specific molecular level and they build up from that. And I just, I so appreciate it because in my opinion, that is why so many of their products work. And this is something I just wanted to mention because I think it goes to show and kind of compare and contrast, you know, Tatcha is the type of brand where you're paying for high quality and you're paying for innovation and you're paying for that really building, like I said, from the molecule, from the from the bottom up versus on the other side of things where it comes across as more of like a generic, oh, I'm, uh, you're building from the <laughs> price point and from the packaging and you're, you're kind of building from the aesthetic in and that's not something that people with acne or that really need like that purifying feel, that, that's not what we need. I don't need cute packaging. I need effective product and I really appreciate it and I might try it. I haven't decided, but I might. Okay, so here's something that I want to know from you guys. ABH released a couple of things. They released their brow pen and they released their new lip stain. And it says that the lip stain is a new lipstick formula that's very lightweight, pigmented, and it will add a tint to your lips, but it dries completely. Or you can use it to create like a blotted lip look so you can kind of go either way. And they're also releasing the brow pen. And it says that this is a fine tipped detailing pen that creates natural looking brow hairs. And here's my thought process with this, okay? I'm just gonna kind of like talk with you guys the way that I was kind of, you know, discussing it with myself, which by the way, I didn't realize how orange I just turned because it got so dark. <laughs> this is gonna look really cute when I edit it. Editing page is going to love this. Um, but I was looking at the colors on here and I feel like, because I've never really done like the blotted lip, like lip stains. I've never really dabbled in that. I've always just been more of a lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, you know, that, that kind of a big, like basic bitch realm. I've just never really dabbled into other formulas. And I feel like looking at these colors, especially the color Rosewood or Dusty Rose, I keep looking at them and I'm like, well, shit, okay? I feel like these would be the type of product I could just like put them on. And even if, you know, I ate, like I drank my drink, I drank my Diet Coke with light ice, who are we kidding? It's what I do. But I just feel like throughout the day, this would be the type of product that as it wears away, I would actually be able to still use it. Like I could pop a little Laneige on there, get that like juicy cuteness going, just that little, you know, have that whole moment. And just that wear would look really, really beautiful versus like a gloss where, you know, it can wear off, it can feel kind of thick or it just like wears off altogether. 
um, this could just be a good product, especially going into winter where I often, like more often than not, need some kind of hydration on my lips. Like, I, I don't know, I just, I feel like this could be something I could work with. So I might pick up one of these. And then the other thing that was in this same post is that brow pen. And I love, like, because it's a fine tip detailing pen. So basically it gives you like those individual little stroke hair situations. And this is something I am so into right now. I've talked about it before, um, especially over, like I said, on Instagram, if you haven't followed me, I've been talking about it a lot in my morning Insta stories that I've been working on just achieving like the lightest little um, like definition between the front and the back of my brow. I'm really working on like getting, you know, more defined tail, but then having like a feathery front section like right up in here. And as I've said before, okay, I don't know if you're new here. I don't know if you're familiar with the program, but I have like, I don't know, one, two, three, seven <laughs> brow hairs like total between both sides, okay? And I'm just, I wasn't somebody that was born with a lot of like endowment in that region, if you will. And then the brow hairs, by the way, just to add insult to injury, the seven brow hairs that I do have, bitch, they are blonde, okay? They are not brown like you would think, okay? No, they are blonde and it's absolutely useless. Like you, you literally can't even see them. And so products like this, they just naturally intrigue me. And you know, the more that I sit here and the more I think about it, I might have to just like go fucking buy this right now. Well, okay, I'm not right now because my battery's literally like 4% from dead, but I very well may have to plug my phone in and like go purchase these. When do they launch? What's going on here? August 10th. Oh shit, bitch, they already launched. Hell yes, hell yes. See, there is a pro to doing these and being late because by the way, this video is so late um, and I'm not upset about it because this is working out really well for me because I can just go buy these and I think I might because they think they look kind of gorgeous. So that's a yes for me. Also, does anybody else appreciate the irony that I talked myself out of the deck of Scarlet and then I sat here and literally talked so much about this that I talked myself into it <laughs> because I can just envision full fluffy brows with like a beautiful stained lip and I'm just like, Ugh. I'm just here for it, bitch. I am here for it. Okay, so here's one that we can talk about just very briefly. Fenty also released like on the, on the Fenty Beauty, the makeup part of it. They released their Pro Kisser Lip Balms and their Pro MVP Wax. And basically what you have here, two different products. You have the balm, which it says here, it's the same shea butter formula that locks in moisture and it's available in three shades. You have a sheer pink, a sheer chocolate, and a sheer natural pink. And then for the brow wax, it says that it's a long wearing clear, no residue pencil and effortless styling brush that shapes and set your brows. And here's my thing with both of these. I have such high standards. I'll start with the balm. I have impossibly high standards when it comes to a lip balm because I know what I want. I know what my lips are just like, ugh, like I know what they're craving. And I can tell you within like one to two uses, maybe two uses, like who are we kidding? Usually in the first use. I can tell you if something is good. I can tell you if it's gonna work. Like I, I can just tell you if my lips are just gonna be like yes or no. So I feel like I could try this and be like, oh bitch, like yes, honey, like get that slather, get that, get that whole thing going. Like give me that whole moment. But at the same time, because I also, just as a side note, I love the colors. I think they would look beautiful. And oh, and they, oh, and they pair well with the lip stain that I'm gonna buy. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm talking myself into these too. Shit. But just speaking like formula wise, okay, because obviously we just established I might need these. But from just a formula perspective, my lips are so damn picky. <laughs> like so fucking picky. And I can usually tell within one, maybe two uses if I'm gonna love something or not. So this one is kind of like I'm kind of on the fence. I, I feel like for me, again, because I don't have a lot of brow hair, the waxy like stick thing, that's kind of meh for me. Like it's not my favorite. Um, I think if I were going to go that route, I would want to test out the Patrick Ta one first because I know he has that little, it's like a compact. It has like a clear or a brown tinted gel or um, soapy waxy type situation. And that's probably what I would try before this. But uh, that lip balm, bitch, now, now you got me curious. So if any of you have tried them, please let me know because I would just, I, I mean, I would love an excuse if they're bad. I would love an excuse not to buy them. But also if they're good, I need them five minutes ago. So please, please let me know. All right, so I have one more thing I want to talk about and then I promise we're done because I feel like this video has been super long, uh, but I have to end it because it's like I said, it's dark outside now and my lighting's gonna be jacked. I'm gonna be all pissed off while I'm editing this, but uh, I have to get one more item out of this because I, I'm just like genuinely curious. So this is new. It says it is currently available from my kit, 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 kit Kitsch. Okay, so we're gonna go with Kitsch because no matter how much I try to spit my way through this, um, I don't know like what the how to like pronounce it, but I've bought from this brand before. They are like a hair care, hair accessory. They make scrunchies, this whole thing. Um, if, if you're not familiar, they're super cute, very on trend. Which, by the way, a fun fact super quickly, this scrunchie that you see right here, um, I just filmed a video, my favorite Amazon products, which I will link up here. And that is where this scrunchie is from. I always get questions. And so if you haven't seen that video, definitely, definitely go check it out. I talk 
talk about some of my top favorite Amazon finds. Um, I ask you guys if you want to see more in the comments, like the whole thing, everything is linked. And there's a little bit of everything. We have a little organization. We have some kitchen. We have just some household, some, some, some beauty, like just a little bit of all the things. So definitely go check that out. But anyways, getting back into, you know, this, this whole situation here, staying focused, you know, it's really pinpointing down on what we need to talk about. It says here that this is another beautiful collection created by Justine Marjan or Mar Margin, Mar Margarine, Mar Margin. I don't know. I don't know who she is. Okay. I'm sure I should, but I don't. Okay. But anyways, and it says that in this collection, there's a lot of things that launch. You got regular scrunchies, headbands, bobby pins, the whole works, but there is a drawstring chiffon scrunchie. Okay. And here's my question. And we're really going full circle with this because we started with the freckle pen and we're going to end here with this. How is it fair that they wear it? They look that cute. I put it in. Okay. I'm looking, look, I'm looking good. I'm Paige. I'm me. I'm this person right here. Hi. Hello. I put my hair back like that. And I go from Paige to hi, my name is Billy Bob Thornton McChicken shit. And I'm here to take your cows out and, and take them for a run and then grab your pigs and slop off the shit with my shoes. And I'm just here to live my best life. And while I'm at it, why don't I just pluck a feather out of your chicken? And I want to know. <laughs> okay. That really escalated quite quickly. But I want to know how come they look so cute and how come I have to look like a lumberjack that eats chicken shit off of his Ritz crackers, okay? And I just really want to know that, okay? So if you can leave me that information down in the comments. And I mean, if you could answer multiple questions, like why did I just go on this tirade? Um, that would be question number one. Question two, why am I like this? Also, also a good question. Uh, but anything that you have, your thoughts, opinions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. And then of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. Leave. And of course, of course, of course, to follow me. That was that was quite loud. Um, please follow me over on Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below, but mainly Instagram because that's where all the good stuff is. That's where your girl's at. And that's where we do all the conversating, okay? So follow me on Instagram. But you guys, that is it, thankfully, for both of us. Um, thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Typically, new, ton new content. Typically, new content goes up in the morning. <laughs> Till the morning. And I just wanna know. Okay. Shit ton of fucking powder on the floor. <sighs> yep, sounds about right.